partner with the hospital, the hospital team had the really good idea to do a survey to the oncology team and say, you know, what are the priorities? We have this new fundraising opportunity and what would the priorities be? Well, patients come in, they have a lot of anxiety about their diagnosis. There's a lot of misinformation out there um, and people try to extrapolate from different other sources and such and it may not even be appropriate for their particular type of cancer. Cancer is never easy. Um, there are so many questions you have. When you're coming in and dealing with the diagnosis up front, it's hard to see past all the treatments. From an education perspective, we want people to know what to expect. And we also want them to know what resources there are for them to reach out to if they're having particular concerns at any point in time during their care process. We can do all the treatments we want, but getting that additional support, whether it's a massage or acupuncture or something like that to help manage whatever they're dealing with or their symptoms, can, can really mean a lot for patients. So there's an awful lot that we can do in the future to help with educating patients that come to the Cancer Center, that come to Cape Cod Healthcare and want to know more about cancer prevention and cancer services. The reason that our committee and the hospital are partnering is to, we want to involve the whole community to help anyone in the community that needs cancer care. I think that education piece is huge and Alice feels um, incredibly passionate about knowing not only for herself through her own path of cancer but helping others to be educated themselves. I heard this quote this morning, education is today's tomorrow. And I thought of Alice immediately when I heard that. As a breast cancer survivor, I know how important education was to me and that I read everything I could get my hands on. I think everyone that knows Alice loves Alice. She is a very warm, compassionate, and her passion is to help people. Some of you may recall at last year's dinner. I told you that every time I see Alice O'Neill, she just makes me smile. I compare that to seeing my sons. I smile because of Alice's incredible dedication to helping those stricken by cancer and the kindness she brings to all she does. For over 17 years, Alice has volunteered her time planning this wonderful dinner, a celebration to raise funds for cancer research and new programs, such as the new oncology nutrition program, which is the first of its kind on Cape Cod. Now, Alice, you know we're launching a new soiree education program tonight creating an endowment fund for educational resources for patients, caregivers, and clinicians in perpetuity. What you don't know is what we're calling you. So tonight, to celebrate your dedication to helping cancer patients, to embrace your commitment to a community, to ensure that we say the proper thank you to you and your family of Murphys, Sturgises, and O'Neills who've supported you on this journey. Tonight, it is my great honor to announce that this important new education initiative will carry the name of a true educator, a classroom teacher for over 40 years. It will forever be known as Alice's Classroom to celebrate how one person can truly make a difference and inspire so many of us to go beyond what we thought we were capable of. Tonight, let's raise our hands up for life and for Alice's Classroom. Cheers. <laughs>